Top 10, Season 6. Let's go. This episode was so long. Okay, we're gonna try to do this as fast as possible because I don't want to linger on it. Okay, they didn't add any rehearsal packages in any of the dances, so uh, I found a lot of the time I was trying to figure out the story before every anything even happened. So I felt that, I don't know, maybe that's why I didn't really connect with a lot of these dances, but I'm gonna start anyways. Noelle and Ryan were paired up and they danced a hip hop by Napoleon Tabitha and the concept was about a secretary and he was like the guy being seduced. It was okay. It was just okay though, and I want to be wowed, and I wasn't wowed. And then they danced a smooth waltz with JT and Thomas. Honestly, if they didn't say that, I was listening so closely to what Kat Daly was saying because if I didn't, I would I would have missed it. But um, the smooth waltz was just like, meh. like they didn't really have great performances today. And I have a feeling they might be in trouble, and that's that's sad. But you didn't bring it tonight. Legacy and Ashley were next. They danced. Hip Hop by Dave Scott, and they danced something else. Hold on, I'll go. I'll talk about the hip hop first. Um, the the hip hop was about vampires, I think, or something to do with a cape. And the, I felt the music that they chose didn't really go well with that dance. And again, I was trying to figure out what the hell was happening because they didn't explain it. Oh, and then they did a contemporary one by some new man who I don't know who it is. And <laughs> the rehearsal packages are so important. <laughs> I've realized now, but um. That contemporary, again, I was trying to figure out the story for the most part. They danced it well, and I feel like Ashley really commits to her character. Always. Um, he didn't do that great today, I didn't find, except in his solo. But, uh, again, two, two dances that I didn't fully understand. Uh, and they were just kind of on the level, so... Come on, you guys! I want to be wowed! Catherine and Nathan were next. They had Roomba and they had Broadway. Okay, the Broadway I felt should have been in black and white because that was like such a like a, a black and white feel. I just had the film noir the entire moment, the entire time I was watching it, I was just thinking black and white. And She had the, the star quality that I felt the people in the 50s would have had. And I actually like this Broadway routine. I don't normally do, but I actually kind of like this one. And I thought they pulled it off. In the rumba, however, not so much. They had no chemistry whatsoever. It was forced. They danced so well, but that's not enough anymore. I, well, I guess they couldn't force the chemistry, but in that rumba, it wasn't good enough. So they had one up and they had one down. This has been a medium night. Eleanor and Jacob were next. They danced quick step and they danced jazz or contemporary jazz or something like that. And the quick step, um, it was good. It was, I mean, like, it's, it was a quick step. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be like, yes, the quick step. Because I never am. Uh, but it, it was danced well. And uh, they, they had a little bit of story in there. And, yeah, whatever. <laughs> their, their contemporary one with Sonia. Oh, my God. It was so good. I just love this. This was the one number I was waiting for the entire night. And it was so good. I, I love the music. I love um, the stuck part like i just loved uh everything it was like you just wanted to watch what was happening and the lighting was good and their movement was good and it was just like a marriage of all everything that they put into the show it was just really really good i really like that routine and i really like them and i really hope they go far because they're fantastic russell and molly were paired up last and they danced last and they had a lyrical jazz by mandy moore which I felt was actually very good, and I felt Molly kind of excelled in it, and Russell was, he's, I don't know what he's doing, like, he, he must be lying or something, because he's, he's pretty good at everything, and it's kind of like, you can't be good, it's like, not possible, so, <laughs> but it is, apparently, and I thought it was pretty good, I actually kind of liked it, I really liked it, actually, and I was starting to get sick of Mandy Moore's 80s music choices, but I felt in this one, it actually kind of worked, and I liked it. Then they had a jive by Anya and Pasha. And in the jive, again, I always picture Anya. Always. Because she's just fiery and she has all this expression in her face and it's just like... It's, she's really good. And I thought this routine... Um, Molly kind of felt short, obviously, because I'm comparing her to the choreographer. <laughs> but she she's um she did really good. 
for the most part, Russell, again, out of nowhere, who are you? <laughs> like, I don't get it. I can't do that. Um, I can do this. <laughs> but th that's it. <laughs> solos. Molly went first, and I felt like her solo was kind of like, stop, drop, run, roll. And it's always like, okay, gonna run, jump, fall, roll, do it again. Not good enough, Molly. Try again next time, if you're still here. Russell was next, and his solo was very hard-hitting and very articulate. And he had really good movements in there, and he had a, kind of like a story in it, too. So, like, I could see him, like, facing off Lil C, and Lil C being, like, challenged. Because Russell's very good. Noelle was next, and her solo was good, but it was kind of forgettable. And it was just kind of blah. And she was wearing white, and that didn't help. And it was just whatever. Ryan was next, and he did, like, a pas doble kind of solo but then he added like cha-cha or salsa at the end of it and it was a it was too rock music so it's like really awkward and like i wasn't feeling it so like not very good <laughs> catherine was next and i was excited to see her solo because she hasn't done it yet and <laughs> for the entire thing she was like eating her hair so <laughs> i was only watching that but i i think she danced it well i have to watch it again but her hair was in her mouth <laughs> Nathan was next, and he danced um, what he normally dances. It was okay. I don't know how he can, like, wow me again, though. He did the first time, and now I'm just kind of like, I've seen this. But, like, I don't know what he can do. I think he's a great dancer, but I don't know. Eleanor's solo was my favorite solo of the night. She's just so quirky and different and refreshing. And just a breath of fresh air. And I love her movements and her musicality, and she's... She's probably my favorite of the entire season, so well done, Eleanor. Legacy was next, and he danced, uh, obviously what he danced, break dance, and he has amazing movements. Like, honestly, nobody else on the show can do what he does, and he has to be credited for it because it's just really amazing some of the stuff he does, and he is very unique, so good job, Legacy. Ashley Solo was next, and I thought maybe her solo was probably the best ballroom solo of this season. And I, I actually thought she did really good. There was really fast movements, and she was, she stopped when she needed to stop. And, I mean, her solo compared to Karen's solo was so much better because Karen's were, like, hair flipping, and Ashley's was, like, dancing. So, <laughs> well done, Ashley. Finally, Jacob ended off the night, and he is really, really good. And he's amazing, and the judges rave about him because he is so amazing. And, I mean, he's remarkable. Like, there's nothing else you can say. Like, I don't want to, like, build build someone up but you can't deny talent i mean it's there and when you see it you have to like acknowledge it because it's it was really good his soul was really good okay so that was the end of my top 10 recap they didn't do any group dances but whatever it was long enough i swear i'm so tired i still have an assignment to do oh my god okay wish me luck bye